It was an exciting time. I was going into my senior year. It was a very high draft prospect, so I knew I wanted to really do it right. So I told uh, agents, hey, wait until it's the correct time. I want to focus on the season. And I got rid of a lot of agents. I wanted agents that could listen to me when I asked them to do something. And that was able to just really distinguish them uh, from the get-go. And did you, who did you involve? Did you involve anybody in the process when you were talking to agents or, or weeding through agents? Did you involve family members or was it just you or how did you do that? Unfortunately, I didn't know much about the process about really hiring an agent. All I knew is I wanted somebody to help me get the best deal possible. Uh, later on, I would find out that a lot of these deals would be somewhat slotted and agents would have to negotiate on, on a minimal level. Uh, but I had friends that would really reach out just to help me understand uh, um, the type of people they were. Um, obviously, recommendations were really important to that. Uh, with no real negotiating opportunities, I think now is, is the best time, at least for rookies, to really understand that uh, you may not necessarily need an agent in this process. Uh, the way the draft is going to be slotted in terms of having a predetermined price in which teams will get you for, or the way your contract will be structured, uh, really doesn't allow uh, a representative to really make uh, that big of a difference. Uh, so I would say for guys, just understand where you are, understand your opportunities, understand the resources that are at your disposal, uh, and use them to the best of your ability. There's the NFLPA, there's other players, guys who've been through it before. Um, and just to understand that this is a great moment in your life and to enjoy it, and it's something that you're capable of doing. Uh, when agents started really reaching out to me, it was a really exciting time. I was in my senior year. I knew I'd be a high draft prospect. I knew that it was going to be a pivotal moment in my life. You know, so agents were reaching out to me from everywhere. Uh, they were hitting me on my phone, reaching out through friends. But I made it really hard on the agents that were really trying to get me to join their firm. I knew that I wanted an agent to really earn my business. I told the agent that you're going to need to work for me. Uh, you're going to need to provide services that would differentiate you from other people. Honestly, the biggest decision that really went into representing myself was about one thing, and it's about responsibility. I was in a place where I had been exploited and I was taken advantage of, and I decided I want to do things my way, and I, do, I want to do the things the best way I know how. Um, and that led to my decision to uh, represent myself.